Now that we're after harvest, one of the indicators of soybean cyst nematode can be poor yield or pockets of low yielding soybeans in the field. Uh, this is a nice time if you've got yield maps that you can go ahead and sample for cyst nematode. Now you can sample for soybean cyst nematode any time of the year, but most farmers and, and farm managers tend to do this after harvest because you've got those maps or you've got the previous year's map if that field's going out of corn into soybean. Now, when we're looking at sampling for soybean cyst nematode, we're gonna try to hit those areas of low yielding soybean. Uh, we're going to also try to target, if we don't know if that field has cyst nematode, areas where soil could be introduced into the field. So that field entryway, uh, areas along the fence where we can have windblown soil erosion accumulate, low areas in the field, uh, pockets where those cysts from the nematode actually float down to, uh, we'll sample those areas. But in any event, uh, those targeted spots or those yield map points, we'll go ahead and collect about 20 to 25 soil cores uh, with a soil probe. If you don't have a soil probe, you can use a spade or a shovel. It's just a lot easier with a soil probe. Take those and mix those up into a bucket. Uh, take that, uh, mix that soil up real well, and then we'll put that soil into a bag and send that to a processing lab to find out if that soil sample has cyst nematode or not, and what the number of eggs are per 100 cc's of soil. One of the key things we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure we label that bag really well in case we are out and we're sampling multiple fields so we've got the, the indicators of where we were at when we took that. Another good idea is to even take some notes on where you sampled that field. As many times you may uh, get a population you wanna go back and assess and see how severe that infestation is.